G'day everybody, Bronnie from Rainbow Crow Studios here. Thanks for joining me again. So today I'm going to just show you my basic, basic setup for plain old wonderful paper marbling. Paper marbling is so deliciously easy and the results you get, no matter what you do, mistakes even are fantastic. So let's get into it and I'll show you what I do and how I show my um, students, okay. So firstly, importantly, a cup of tea, very, very important. Uh, in my previous videos, oh, you would have shown, would have seen, sorry, me making up the carrageenan. So one of the cheapest and easiest baths that I buy to put the size in, because it's called size once it's made up, is a kitty litter tray. $3 from Kmart or Target. It's perfect for the A4 paper. So... You've made that up, you've made it up the night before, you've put it out into the tray, poured it out and you've let it sit. So um, the bubbles are sort of dissipated. So what else do you need? Now, uh, the paint, and I will make a separate video about that too, but my go-to paints are the Jacquard Marbling Colours. Come on, focus, there you go, I knew I could do it. So you cannot at this stage buy them in these big, bottles in Australia. You have to um, order overseas uh, for places like Jacquard and Dharma Trading but luckily for us we have the lovely Lynn from Batik Otoro or Dye Man who gives us these lovely little sizes here which last forever as well. And so what I do, I decant them into these little bottles that I got onto eBay. You will know if you look at other um, people and their, their marbling techniques, they, you can use lots of different ways to place the paint onto the surface of the size. But this is my way and it works for me and when I teach my students. It's simple and tidy. Things don't get spilt. So what other things do you need or you, you don't really need but you can make and it's fun? Uh, the brushes. Sorry, brushes, combs. So I've gotten a piece of polystyrene and put cut some um, skewers and let the sharp ends come out like that. And I've also offset them, if you can see that as well. So these aren't very fine. You can use finer things, but this works for me and you get some amazing results for dead cheap. Again, this one, this comb here, piece of cardboard, glue, gaffer tape and skewers. Now I've got two sizes. I've got one size that goes this way and one size that goes that way. Just makes things easier and gives you more um, combinations. So what else do we need? Towels, always good. So we've got the paint, we've got our tools, and this is the ones I, tools that I normally use the most, and they are the skewers themselves. They are fantastic. Never underestimate cheap things. <laughs> and A4 printing paper, just any A4 printing paper. And lots and lots of newspaper. Ask your friends to collect the newspapers, Sunday mails, things like that. Can't, go, can't have enough newspaper. Now, when you're printing, once you've printed your lovely picture from here, you need to put it somewhere so it doesn't drip. So roasting pan is fantastic for that. So cheap. And you, I've had this, this one for years. So then once the paper's there, you move it out here. Oh, that sunlight's lovely. To the, pe the pegging area, which I use just a El Cheapo laundry drying rack. It works really, really well. I also have a bucket of water to wash my hands with. I don't use gloves, but I don't get my hands that dirty only when I'm doing bottles and things like that. But paper, I don't use gloves. You can wear gloves if you want, of course. Also a bucket, look at that lot of sunshine. A bucket to put your paper in once you've used that to skim the surface of the size for thing for different things, for different reasons. So again, this is my setup before I st about to start paper marbling. Um, generally, and my students will know this, I also have uh, towels on the floor because the carrageenan, as soon as it hits the floor, it's really uber, uber slippery. It's fractured necophema time and we don't want that. 
so I always have towels sort of hidden under there so we can easily dry the floor. I hope this has been of help to you. Uh, let me know if there's any other questions you've got. Don't forget to follow, ring the bell and yeah, have a great day guys. Bye.